and welcome to Long's Toys. I have a Common Rider Gaim review for you today. This is the Muso Saber, which comes with the Melon Lock Seed up here. Really nice picture of Gaim and Zangetsu here on the front of the box. On the side, there's a picture of Gaim. On this side, we have Zangetsu again. On the top, it just kind of shows the Melon Lock Seed. And on the bottom, a picture of both of them again. And then on the back, some nice graphics of the sword, the melon lock seed. It shows how the sword can combine with the, I forget what the name of it, but his orange sword, orange slice sword. And it shows how it can combine or clip onto the belt of the uh, Genesis, no, <laughs> the Sengoku driver. Ever since the Genesis driver came out, for some reason I always say Genesis, but this is the Sengoku driver. Alright, let's go ahead and get this guy out of the box and take a look. Okay, so out of the box, the Muso Saber comes with everything you see here. The Saber itself, the Melon Lock Seed, and then this is the clip for the sword. I'm going to get this out of the way real quick. If you see here, there's a slot that you can actually feed the belt of the Sengoku driver through. Just the same way as the uh, extra lock seat holder. Although that was a clip that you could just clip on top. This you actually have to feed it through. But if you had some other kind of belt, it's a pretty wide hole. If you had another belt, you could probably feed it through there. And then what you do is on the top here, you can see there's a little groove. And then you would just slide that through. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> slide that through like that. It just slides right on the groove there. You can see the groove here in the piece of plastic. And then that's just how the sword would hang on your belt. So I'm going to go ahead and put that off to the side. Here's a look at the Muso Saber itself. Has some nice stickers here. It does require two AAA batteries, which you put in right there. Then you can go ahead and turn it on up here. So I'll show you that again. I can never find the on and off switch. Okay. The light, there are light LED lights here in this yellow section. So as soon as you turn it on, it lights up. And it says Muso Saber. If you, there's a trigger right here. You can see how the LED light on the bottom here lights up and it just kind of makes generic like sword clashing sounds. If you pull this part back right here, you'll see how all the lights fill up and remain lit. That's kind of like his bullets and then this is the part of the sword that acts like a gun. And as you fire, see how uh, it makes a gun sound. And then one of the lights goes away, meaning he spent one of his ammunition. So if you spend all four and then wait, it'll recharge. And it goes back to the sword sounds. But if you do this again... And spend all four... If you do it too quick, it'll make a sound. If you do it too quick, it'll make a sound like he's out of uh, ammo. But then you let it sit and it'll recharge itself. And then it'll go back to the standard sword clashing sounds. So I'm going to turn it off for a second. Down here, it's where it can clip. If you have the orange uh, sword that the blade looks like an orange slice, you can clip it on right here. And that's how you, uh, I think this is how you unclip it, you push these in. I'm not sure I don't have that sword, so, but that is where it would clip on there on the bottom. Okay, so this is the melon lock seed that comes with the set. I'll go ahead and turn it on. So it makes that cool sound and lights up. It unlocks very similar to the way orange unlocks. 
So I'm going to go ahead, if you close this, it does have the same sounds on the back. The standard Invis game sounds. So those are the battle games sounds for the Invis games. I'm going to go ahead and bring in the Sengoku driver. Turn it on. If I unlock this again. Now I don't have the Zangetsu faceplate, so I'm just leaving the Gaim one on. So it says Melon Arms. Melon Squash. Melon Ore. And of course, melon sparking. So if I go ahead and close this up, well, those are the sounds that it makes in the Sengoku driver. Okay, I wanted to bring the sword back in because the lock does have some interactivity here with the sword. As you can see, there's a spot very similar to the Sengoku driver that has where you put a lock seed. So if I go ahead and open this, And you kind of have to flip this down because there's nothing on here that'll flip it down for you. But if you go ahead and attach it. And then close it. So I just wanted to show, when you first put it on, it says something that sounds like Melon Shuck, but I'm not 100% sure if that's what it says. And then it'll kind of just make that sound over and over again until you pull the trigger. And then it obviously shows you the, the attack that I just showed you. You can also pull this back. And again, that'll fill the lights. And then when you pull the trigger, it'll say Melon Power and it'll spend one of the ammo. So it'll still say Melon Power if you're empty, but it does make the sound like you're out of ammo. So then it'll, it'll at least fill you back up and give you one if you let it sit. I'm going to go ahead and remove the lock. Now you, there's a, this yellowish gold part right here. You actually have to hold that, press it down when you remove the lock. It's funny, when I, when I bring this in close, you can see there's kind of a little tab here and a little tab there and a little tab on the bottom. But when I press this down, I don't really know what it does. I can't see anything like come go in to let the lock off, but it, you definitely have to do it. If you try to pull it off without doing it, it's very tough. So I'm not really sure what this does, but it is needed to get the lock off. I wanted to go ahead and just bring another lock in, so I'm going to bring in orange. And then just pop this one on. So it's kind of similar. It says like orangey charge instead of melon power. And if I go ahead and, and pull this. Power. 
there it does say our energy power. So I just wanted to do this for you. The voice is a little different, but. So pretty much whatever lock seed you put on there, it's going to say, you know, the name of the fruit power when you're trying to use the uh, gun mode. And then if I open this again. So it only say charge when you first put the lock on. That's the like powered slash attack. And then if you use the gun or pull the trigger after that, it'll say power instead of charge. I think the Muso Saber set is a lot of fun. It's fun to get another sword to play with, especially the fact that it interacts with all the different lock seeds and you can clip them on and it makes different sounds and lights for each one. Uh, I think the belt clip edition is cool. That way if you, I mean, if the Sengoku driver belt actually fits you, you can slide that on. Or if you have a regular belt, I really think the hole's big enough that you could slide that through and you could wear the sword clip on any belt. Um, the melon lock seed that comes with it is awesome, especially if you're trying to collect all the lock seeds. You'll have to get this set because this is the only way to get the deluxe melon lock seed. But the sword is definitely fun. It's got sounds for sword. It's got sounds for gun. Uh, it's got lights, which, um, you know, like the Sengoku driver only has sounds, so it's fun to get something with lights. Uh, it's a little bit harder to find now because it's from the beginning of the line. I was just able to get a hold of it, and I was very excited. Uh, but I definitely recommend it, especially if you're planning on getting the DJ gun, uh, which just came out uh, with the Kachidoki arms because this can combine with that. Uh, that was another main reason that I got it. I wanted the melon lock seed, I wanted the sword, but the fact that it also combined with the DJ gun was definitely another draw. So I was very excited to pick this up. I highly recommend it, especially if you're a big fan of Kamen Rider Gaim. But please tell me what you think in the comments. Please like and share this video. Please subscribe, and thanks for watching.